Oh man, look at that. The perfect conditions. Just trying to find the right portion of the river now to lead up to the peak. Light, atmosphere, just everything's on point. Just gotta get some white cascades. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> perfect, look at that. Literally running down the river here, a few hundred meters, just to take advantage of how nice the conditions are. Absolutely everything I love right there with the light, the atmosphere. Here we go, look at this, this will work well. I think the boots are gonna get wet. In rivers and cascades, I'm always looking for the white streams of water. It just breaks up the dark tones and creates a nice texture. I'm just taking a few different exposures here at various shutter speeds just to see what the results are like on the water flow. Wow, look at that go. <laughs> Hard to do it justice on the GoPro, but man, that is just unreal. I did create a photo here about three years ago, but everything today is just dialed right in. Had to sacrifice the boots. Everything is changing just absolutely perfectly today. I can't believe how good it is. Look at this framing with the tree. It really frames the scene up nice. Mist rising down the back here. Been really grateful. Haven't been able to film much because uh, the conditions. <laughs> Unbelievable. So now 90 degrees in a different direction. This mountain is just looking fantastic. So I'm trying to utilize the river here, the water flow running in to create some nice lines and lead the eye through to that beautiful mountain. I always like to keep moving in the landscape, even if I've found something that I like. If I've got the shot, there's no point hanging around. And it's just fun to keep exploring, and as it turns out here, I find a composition that I enjoy even more, where I can incorporate the trees. Just doing single exposures, the dynamic range is easy to get in a single shot. ISO 100, F13 for that depth of field, and 1 8th of a second. I even did a few vertical panoramas just to fit the bit more sky into the frame and uh, I'll see when I stitch those what the result looks like. I used a rock in the foreground which added a little bit of balance to the mountain in the back and what I really was concentrating on was this beautiful tree off to the right making sure that I fit that into the frame and not having it hit the mountain so having some separation between the tree and the mountain feet. Alright, this is our third attempt at leaving this area. I've spent hundreds upon hundreds of hours, thousands of hours out here and I just still get so excited like it's the very first time because the landscape is always changing. These rivers are changing with storms and the way as I mentioned earlier, the light and the atmosphere just dictate so much and it can just create photo opportunities that wouldn't have existed otherwise purely because of the light and the atmosphere combining with the right subjects. Overwhelming. It's time to get home and uh, I'll pull up on the computer some of these images and I'll explain a bit more. guys uh, sorry about the setup here I'm just running a workshop at the moment and I'm in a hotel just putting this video together 
Uh, so the images I captured on this afternoon, you could probably tell I was quite excited out there and these images, they're both personal favourites and, you know, as I said out in the field, what I love about Fiordland and where I live, to me, it's just that combination of alpine environment with the mountains, lush, dense beach forests and water everywhere, whether it's waterfalls itself or the flowing rivers and the atmosphere, that evaporation that comes out of the forest. And then of course, light. I love light. And this particular afternoon, just everything combined together. Um, and I just felt like I was able to put into these single frames just about everything that I love about the place. So the first image itself, uh, words unspoken, as I said there, you look, know, it was a tight frame, really hard. I wish I actually had the 12 mil with me. Um, that I managed to fit it in just with the 16 mil using that foreground rock there, which I just found at the last moment, just that foreground rock, just somewhat to me, it's a bit of symmetry with that mountain in the back instead of just having plain old water. It's quite uh, crazy actually how much that, that rock in the foreground is a similar shape to the mountain itself. The main part though for me was that tree, the tree on the right, I just love the beach forests and the characteristic trees reaching out. So just making sure I incorporated that tree and getting that separation, not having it hit the mountain there just adds that extra little bit of depth. With the other image, uh, Requiem, you know, the what I was looking at there in the field with that mountain, intermittently light coming in and out, the visibility coming in and out, it just was the pinnacle. And I couldn't even film the best parts because I was too busy shooting and making sure that I was getting something, something that I really loved. This composition that I went with, I actually found right towards the end. And again, it was the incorporation of the trees. So I didn't really show too much of that in the video, but I found this frame right towards the end where I was able to get that row of trees up the left-hand side. Um, and that just closed in the frame a little bit. Otherwise there was just a lot of negative space there and the sky wasn't doing too much in that upper left. And finding that tree that could reach out and across, I felt just framed it all up nicely. With the foreground, just a, a nice simple stream of water there, getting a, a small section of darker tones on the very lower part, and then the stream which leads in and hopefully just leads the eye up to that beautiful mountain with the warm side light coming in from the right hand side. Anyway, thanks for viewing. Uh, this was such a fun afternoon for me and it's just a, one of those rare ones where you can just be out there in the elements and just reacting accordingly. And that's what this was all about. And I just felt so grateful to be in that moment and yeah it was just a fun afternoon so thanks it's been a pleasure sharing it with you cheers